The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Daryl Martin. All righty, folks. Tommy is out of the office today, so I'll be hosting the Bull Bear Binary Hour right here on TFNN. And let's check out where the markets are at right now. We got the S&P is currently down about six points. We have the Russell down seven. Dow is currently down 92, 94 points, so working on triple digits there. So we're getting some good moves going on. And oil is uh, heading on back down. It's down 94 cents right now as well. So really some good moves this morning. It's been a great Friday morning, early Friday morning. And hopefully you have been able to take advantage of it. We got, looking over here at copper, we got copper down half percent right now. We got gold up, uh, let's see, what is that, $3 on the day at the moment. Uh, we have silver is currently up about 0.24% uh, on the day. And what do we got? We got natural gas is down 1.7% on the day. So... Uh, quite a bit of moves going on. We got a uh, corn currently is down three quarters of a percent. We got soybeans down a one percent. We got over at our FX pairs. Uh, let's see what do we got. We got pound dollar is currently up a whole five pips. We got euro dollar down twenty nine. Euro pound is up sixteen. Dollar cat is up twenty five. Dollar franc's up sixteen. Uh, with the dollar yen up two. Pound yen up two. Euro yen down twenty two. And the Aussie and down five. So I guess your morning wake up call on where the markets are. And let's see what we got going on. With uh, we had the one news trade early in the morning, but that's pretty much uh, wrapping itself up and doing well. And I go over these every day on the diagnostic trading hour. Make sure you have them and you're ready. And um, we have the U.S. Uh, durable good orders for an enter at 8 and exit at 10. So I can bring up a euro dollar chart for you. Let me get that open. And just look at that beautiful trend right there on natural gas all one along. All right, we'll go out over here, check out euro dollar. And here we go. Bringing it up slowly but surely. <laughs> All right, so as we can see, if we uh, measure the 8 a.m. price right here, take it on to the 10 a.m. expiration, we had a move of 10 ticks net difference, and we were looking for a $20 profit, uh, not tw mat minimum profit, um, on the inner of the trade. So you get in on the trade, you make $10 of that. That's awesome. So they're never, I mean, well, I guess occasionally, but rarely they're going to expire right in the center, which is what it takes to get all $20. So, Iron Condor this morning worked out perfectly. Hopefully, again, you were able to uh, take advantage of that. If nothing else, you shouldn't be able to go in and take advantage of that expectation of movement where it moved down 21 ticks on the expectation of 20 and pulled on back. So, there was also that expected pullback coming on into play, and uh, it literally was right on cue. Okay. So that gets us what we're looking for with the uh, news this morning. Now let's see what else we can find. Maybe we can do uh, you know a couple trades. And let's go on over here. And let me pull up. I had oil up earlier. I want to see if it has anything left in it. I think it pretty much punched its clock already. But you never know. Oil has had some pretty massive moves lately. We're getting a lot of spikes on it this morning, but it keeps seeming to want to move down. And so look right over here. Yeah, so we got a we just had a five minute, ten minute sort of leveled off. We got another ten minute volume spike that just happened again. So um, with another ten minute one on there. Makes me want to go in and check out 
we're at a what is that a one deviation level we're sitting at the one deviation level so really we shouldn't be surprised at all um, on getting those volume spikes that's just a matter of how we gonna best take advantage of it it is top of the hour again that's not my favorite time for these but we have room to move up so that's the encouraging part there okay so with that in mind um, let me see I'm pulling up a potential trade that we might be able to do and let me go over here and I'll pull this up on the screen for you but anyway so what we'll do is we're trading we're looking at Nadex so I'll go into how to get an account on that to try this stuff out if you don't have one yet here in just a moment but first let's take a look at the trade all right, we got crude oil. We could do spreads. I'm probably going to focus on binaries. And let's see. There we go. And it is moving up, so we are getting a pullback. I just uh, don't want to get too much of a pullback before it's all done. But um, let's see. If we're doing this trade, what you're going to need is you're going to need to pull the chart up on a five-minute chart and look on over at oil. And then now we've got to pick our strike. So, yeah, 10 minute chart. There we go. So, right there, one, two. This is really where we're breaking out. How high can we go? We can go to 101.37. So, really, that'd be what you'd be targeting. And. We do have a strike right around that at 101.33. Uh, but I don't expect it to go too much higher. So we'll, we'll grab that one just for example purposes and put that trade on. Okay, so we grab that one in, we go in there. But what we're really looking for, what I want to you know, help you pick up on doing this trade so we would have got in a little bit sooner. You know, we're just trying to go and hop into the show. I mean, technically, what we should be looking at is that when that 10 minute pops up, this is done. As soon as this bar breaks the high, which is where we're at right now, then we look at hopping in the trade. And with the fill price right there, let me pull up the, uh, the scanner. We'll check this out. And oil can get really volatile right around this point. We're at the one deviation level. Uh, I would have went on the end the money trade. I'm not as a big of a fan of the other money contracts when we uh, get those signals right at the bottom of the hour because I've been amazed at how many of them can get choppy on you. So uh, we're pulled on back up to our trend line from this morning and so now I want to watch that. So let's put that on over here. We'll draw that. I'm just trying to put the little different pieces that I look at. You know, I got my ABCs of my system and I got my 123s where I'm going to actually look at the charts. And um, Let's see here. Don't want any of those. And so we go over basically at a trend line right now. Okay? So we're looking at this trend line over here, and we're pretty much right on the trend line. So is it going to break through it, or is it going to pull on back? And one of the things I like to look at on pullbacks, so I'm giving you one, we're just, we are seeing a downtrend. So buying that strike doesn't give us a whole lot of up to the upside. We do have a spike striker saying, hey, we're probably going to go up to flat for the rest of the hour. If we do go up, we have an expected range right up here. Let's see here. Pretty much taking us to 101.36, which is right at the 0.7 deviation level. Uh, but we did bounce off the one deviation, so which is not abnormal to see a bounce off the one and go into... A 47. So I mean, there's a lot going in our favor on the trade. Now let's hop around and let's um, look at another lesson. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch of little things together for you. And another lesson that we can do over here is looking at a uh, velocity. So and it looks like we already hit the velocity markers. But one of the things I've noticed is velocity bars. These are bars that take, uh, these are tick based bars. Basically, it take less than a second to move the set you know, number of ticks to form a brick. Uh, so like a 12-tick bar, basically it took less than a second to make those 12 ticks. 
what I have noticed is these are also magnet bars. <laughs> um, and when they happen, you go in there, you can literally just, like, put them together. And what you'll see again and again is that the market will come back and it will, like, you, put, you put it in the middle is what I found because that's the true open on the bar. So we go right there. We can go over here. Okay, where's the next velocity bar? Like right there, which happens to be the 0.7. So you notice how it went really fast through that deviation level. Right over here, so it's happening, and it, that's right when it broke through the 0.5 deviation level. Um, over here, we got a few more of these. So we got one over here, and we got another one over here, right about at this point. And basically what you'll just see is you'll see the market push down and pull back up and hit it. Push down, pull back up, and hit it. Um, you can put them down at the bottom. That's so tight, though. You don't really, I mean, it takes forever to see it. Or you can put them in the middle. That's a, to me, that's a little bit more, gives you a little bit more of an idea. Uh, we got within about a tick so far of this one, and we're at that deviation level, so we still have to let the whole thing play out. But we do have magnet prices pulling us up. We have spike directors pulling us up. We're bouncing off a deviation level. So there's a lot of little pieces that could work out really well for us. Um, and we have an hour to let the trade play out. The only thing I don't like about the trade is I don't like it's top of hour because everything moves slower. Um, and then we, we also can do is we can measure our expected uh, movement from high to low. We got a pretty good chunk of that already, but we do have a little bit of umph left above us. So right here on the current hour, uh, we have an expectation of 27 ticks. We've moved 19 of those. So we still got eight ticks left of just expected movement. And that could be up or down, Okay. And we've been pretty on on the expected moves all morning, so actually exceeding them in most cases. Uh, if we did exceed it on the downside, then we'd be definitely making through that uh, lower deviation level. We have a low of 101.05, so it would bring us on down to, what, 100.98 would be the lower deviation if we were to move on down. And so, could always put a hedge on if you wanted to, uh, but... Yeah, I'd still watch the trade a little bit just to see before we just hop in full throttle on a, a hedge on there. And let's see. I'm just letting it play out. Uh, the other thing we can do is we got five uh, minute bars. We can look and we can see where stops would be, things like that. And we haven't really hit um, a lot of stops this morning so far, so let's look at this. If we're going in, and the market's right here. We got a high of 101.72. Got a 1174. So boom, it hit those stops. People go short again. We're going to put their stops. They're going to put them right here. And we'll talk about how they come back up and nail these stops to get it again. And we'll see uh, have we hit the stops yet. If we haven't, that also gives us a little more upside movement potential. Stay there. We'll be back after this break. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. 
For all the details and to find out how the signal box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. All right, folks. We'll come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so right now we're looking at oil, oil sort of going slow on us, but it moved on down. It retouched that one deviation level, not too shocked. So now the question is, where does it go from here? So and that's sort of what we're watching to see if it's going to bounce on back up into the last half of the hour. And um, But right here on the bull bear binary option hour. And uh, seeing where it uh, bounces on up to 101.35 is sort of where we're targeting at the moment. And let's see, average fills on all contracts of our 26, so it may move on up there. And let's see here, okay. Um, well, there's not much more to do while we're waiting on that. And uh, what I will do is I will go ahead and set my take profits on the contracts, okay? So where I'm going to go in, and I'm going to want to set my take profits on them to... Um, Get me out of the trade should the market go up and um, hit my price level, okay? Um, and what that would do is basically I'd be getting out at $43 on the trade, okay? So 101.33, I might even go a little bit deeper than that, but now that we've put down a little bit, I don't have to. So 101.33 actually gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, and so just set, simply go in and set a uh, take profit on there. Let me show you how to do that in case you haven't set take profits yet on Nadex. And bring up the screen. If I can get it to yeah, let's turn off this. This is what's causing all the problems. There we go. Um, so right down here, you'll find your position here on the scanner. You go in, 
just hit the close at market button, it'll pop on up. Then we're going to adjust the price to exit out of the trade at $43. And then we will place our order. Okay? So right there. So when the market moves up, ideally it moves far enough up, and then we're able to get out of the trade. So that's really, I mean, all there is to it. Uh, and there's not really much you can do at this point. I mean, you can stare at it, and you can give yourself a heart attack and everything else, but there's not a whole lot you can do, so you just got to let it play out. Uh, at a certain point, you could always hop out if you see that, you know, time's burning and it's just oscillating and it's not moving. But you'll be amazed. These things will move $5, $10 in a blink of an eye. So you really just have to let them work themselves out. It is moving back up. It's fighting on that trend line. Notice it's not pushing down real hard. Um, another thing to notice is, like, before we've hit this trend line, let's look at the pattern, okay? So it's coming on down. hits the trend line. It works on up on it a little bit, but we got some strong volume down. Light volume up, and then volume pick back up on the way down. Right here, we're working on our way back up. We got some strong volume up and light volume down. So notice the strength of the volume was to the upside. Doesn't mean the trade's going to work out. Doesn't mean it's going to work out fast enough for us. I just, you know, trying to share some of the things that I look at. And, uh, I mean, it's a relatively low-risk trade and a good profit potential on the trade. And, I mean, you're going to basically have one-to-one -one on it. So uh, there's not a lot of stress on it. Really, it's go find the next trading opportunity. What I am... Most, I guess you could say, concerned about when I look at the trade is I'm going to look over here at the uh, just the pattern and seeing where the market's at. And we need that low broken right there. If that low is broken by enough, by about three, about 10109, that's where I'd start looking for hey, you know what, we might be willing to go ahead and break on down here. Uh, that's also where our, remember, like the uh, spike striker serves also as a mini magnet. It's a short time reversal trade, but it's also a mini magnet. If it does move on down to 101.09, then I can see it's actually flying on down to 101.53. So that's the big move that I'd be like, ooh, if that happens, you know, that could have a little bit of an impact on our trade. Uh, and, I mean, we're talking, you know, about 50 cents move down. So uh, I would be ready to probably hop in either, you know, I don't know if trading futures, you're trading spreads, whatever. You know, look at potentially like a spread, get that one ready on this trade. So how would I trade a spread on here? Well, let's say my trigger was 101. Let's see. Um, on this trade, 104. Well, I'll go into exactly how I picked that spread when we get back after this break. Okay. Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's Daily Market Letter, Market Insights. 
Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile.com in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. All right, so if you want to go short right over here on the oil contract, so we got a short potential trade setup. We got a long trade setup. We're pushing on down here. We're at the one deviation level. I mean, just really, really pushing. Then I'm going to look at all these contracts, and all I'm going to do is going to go, hey, you know what? Show me you know, everything on here. Show me oil. And I want to go, say, short on oil. And so I'll get all these contracts. It'll drop off the buys. And uh, once I hit the sell side, so we hit that. Come down here. And then I'll say, you know, let's go ahead and cap that risk out at point, or let's do a point five, a one to one, just in case there's one I like that maybe is right on the edge. And that's going to narrow it down really fast. Um, and look at all these trades. This goes to two thirty. Has the same prop potential as this trade, but it has less risk. It has the same risk as this trade, but it has more prop potential. Um, and then we have more time than any of the other trades to allow it to move on down. The only trade that really has a significantly lower risk, maybe the 11 a.m., not a lot of time for that thing to move. Uh, then we have the $8 one, but that one has to move, you know, we're talking about, you know, 20 ticks, which isn't huge, but it does have to move about 20 ticks before we really start seeing any kind of money come back. So you could use, basically, there's only two trades to me that would make any sense. I'd either use the 12 o'clock, uh, which gives you an hour and a half, uh, gives you a reduced risk of $10, which means you don't have to have a stop loss. But if the market flies down, then you could actually, uh, you know, make some pretty good money on it with another stop loss. So there's a nice advantage there. Uh, disadvantage is you may just be throwing away $10, okay? Uh, another potential trade is this one right here. 
this would be my primary pick. Um, when it, you know, if I'm wanting to mirror futures markets, um, it's only three ticks off where oil is currently trading at right now, and it has the most prop potential comparative to the risk. It actually has the most prop potential of any trade except for this one. It has obviously less risk, and I'm not so much defined about the risk because I'm not going to stay in a trade till expiration. But I do want to, um, you know, like why why throw away all that capital if I don't have to? There's really no edge. So there's no reason I would trade the 97 to 107 when I can trade the 97 to 102. I have the exact same floor. For, so for going short, there literally is no benefit to the 97 107. It can it makes just as much money. Now I have to put up more capital in the trade. I'm not going to stay in the trade till expiration, but I'm putting up more capital, and there's just like I said, zero benefit for doing so. And then you can go in and let's say we're doing this trade, and um, you know if you're using the stop trigger stuff like that. You can go in here and, you know, 101.0, say, 4, if you wanted to. And then you could say, well, what do I want my stop to be? And you could say, well, don't go any lower than 100 point, you know, 94. Like, that would be an example, okay? And then if you're ready, then you could say activate it. And if you want to understand it, you can explain. It says, when the indicative falls to 101.04 or less, Automatically, it will submit a ticket for you at a sell limit of one contract at the maximum of the following, either a limit of 10 cents below the current bid price, so when the bid size is one or more, and a limit of 100.94 when bid size reaches one or more, so whichever one is, you know, higher. Uh, that's what it's going to do. Has that set up. So we can go over here, we can look at it. How is that looking? It's oscillating. It's looking. It's watching the indicative. You know, we can watch, make sure there is an indicative quoting. If not, you can't use it. Um, but it looks like, I mean, it will, might want to keep pushing down. It's really, really just trying to punch as hard as it can into that one deviation. And it has some room, okay? It has some room to move. So it could go on down here. Um, you know, we got about 20 minutes left. And that's where we go over and we look at our, you know, expected ranges. And so on the current hour, I mean, it's only moved six, you know, seven ticks here. And uh, so we got a lot of movement left inside of the oil contract. Uh, I'm trying to pull back this up over here. Yeah, so plenty of movement. And that would definitely be something to sink our teeth into. I'm just trying to figure out the best thing we can look at for. Give me one more second. And I got a screen that keeps popping up in front of me. There we go. Okay. So, expected movement of, you know, 20 to 30 ticks here. Then, there's nothing we can do. Now we just going to sit back. we got to let that at work. we got the, uh, the buy side working. One of them is going to play out, potentially. Uh, the other one has till the end of the day. So, if it does come down and break, it decides to bump on down, um... And then we'll be uh, good on that. So we just uh, got to let it do its thing. Okay. So that gives us a look at oil this morning. We'll see how that goes. And set that. Use a little pin program. It's nice because then it'll just pin the program off to the side for you. So we'll put that one over there. Get it out of the way. And now let's see what else we have. We might be able to do something with. Put these all off to the side. Okay, and shrink this up. We'll come on back over here. Looks like it might move back up for us. We'll see. Okay, let me go ahead now. I'm gonna get we'll get some you know gold charts up. See what we got. Let's try to look for some trades this morning. Oh, it's starting to move. Okay, well, maybe we should pull that back up. Look at it. I'm just getting bored with it. <laughs> um, I think we just took profit. Let's see here. Yep. Hit that, man. We hit that take profit, and it fell right back down. Um, let me bring that up so I can show you. That happened before we even had a chance to look at it. Okay, so 
and they updated something on the order history, and I don't know what or why, but let me pull up a Nadex chart for you so I can show you. But as you can see, the position is gone. <laughs> we hit our 43 uh, take profit. So did good on that one. Um, let me go over here. Like I said, that was just a, that moved fast. And let's check out where we are over on oil. And let me open up this specific contract, which we were in on the 101.33.11 a.m. And then let me pull the chart out of the window. All right. All right, so here's our last traded. And you can see it did go up to 43. That's our trade right there. So it went up to 43 on that. We can then go in. We can put, uh, you know, a bid. And as you can see, it's moving on up. If you did more contracts, you still have some you could manage. But, um, you know, so we got in down here, and we were buying the contract at by, you know, like 25, then 20, and then 15. So sort of layered some on in there. Had an average entry of about 22 on the trade total, and then put a take profit at 43. I got, hey, that's more than enough room if it pops on back up. And it popped on back up. So uh, we went through, we hit that magnet that we were talking about, that mini magnet that gets set by velocities. Uh, the market did come back down. It sort of hit its magnet. It was trying to hit its magnet. I thought it might even do it. It was really working on it. Uh, there on the... Um, the spike tracker, but uh, it did not. And just to give you a little perspective here, you know, this bar right here took like 17 minutes. This bar took 27 minutes. So our hour got eaten up. Like, and this is the first bar. So basically, this one bar took half an hour. Um, and this bar took one minute. So that was that reversal where everything started flying on back up. And you can sort of see it a little bit better on a time based chart. And you can see how it's over here, and just nothing was happening. Oh, let me, uh, I think I have 30 minutes on there from yesterday. I was looking at a trade. I think I was focusing on gold or something. Bring that back over to 60. Bring that back over. There we go. And let that populate. And you'll see just how much time, you know, we had nothing going on. And I was like, all right, let's just move to the side and move on to the next trade. Okay, so it comes over here, just just oscillating. So I'm like, I add one in when I think it's going up. Feels like it's head faking me, but I'm like, you know what? We have nothing left below us. We're at a one deviation level, so let's buy a couple more. We buy a couple more into it. We set a take profit right at the top of the channel of the expected movement. So, which is literally like right up here. Really, 101.41, I guess, was our actual target. We went in and we said, hey, let's sell at 43 um, on a 101.33. So we had 10 ticks of movement left in there. So 43 was probably, honestly, a little bit too early, but I was just trying to be a little bit conservative on that. And I knew we went down a few ticks. So, like, over here, you know, if we put that right in the middle of the range, we're at 101.10. You can see we we're already, um, we drew down, like, 10 ticks. So if we had an expectation at 33, that really means I only expect like a, a move up of 33 from the low right here. And the low on this was what? We had a low of 101.05, so I really expected to move up to about 101.38. Okay, so 33 uh, takes higher than 101.05. So that would have brought me up to right here on my expectations of movement, um, which lines up with those magnet levels we were talking about. And well, let's go back. Let's check out those magnet levels. 101.38. So we'll go right here. We're going to look at this. And that's 101.31. Again, we bought at 101.33. So basically, we were getting out right before it hit what we thought it was going to hit. And I mean, you can see if we zoom in on here, I mean, we're like uh, tick off the expected uh, high there. What do we got? 101.40 versus 101.43. So we had about a few ticks where we missed it. But we didn't really miss it because, remember, we went down 10 first. 
So if we went down 10 first, we missed it by a few. We're actually about seven ticks over um, the, you know, or a couple, at least a couple ticks over the expected move. It looks like it says from low to high, we uh, exceeded by two ticks on the high side on the expected move. So at this point, I'd expect that trade to be done going into the hour, but I need to see something else that tells me to do anything. So right now, I don't see anything. I saw the spike striker tell me to go long. I saw the trend line being broken that told me to go long. And most importantly, I saw that one deviation level telling me, hey, probably need to be ready to go long. And when you put all the pieces together, it gives you more confidence in a trade. And I'm just like, well, we'll see. So now we also have, okay, that potential short, but it never got filled. Remember, we used a stop trigger. I said, hey, if it gets down to 10104, but it never got down to 10104 after we put the trade in to fire it off. And, um, you know, due to the time of day, where the hour is, and on the show, then what I'm going to do, and this is a really helpful function, by the way, in the Nadex platform, you can go in and you can find your tickets by just clicking here and bring them up to the top. So you can just grab them, each one of them like that. So I can go over here, like, yeah, let's go ahead and deactivate this at the moment and close that on down, okay? And get that out of the way. And it doesn't mean I can't steal the trade, but I gotta watch it. And uh, since it did what I thought it was going to do at the one deviation level, I would probably would not even want to do that trade at all now. I was more prepped in case oil decided to go through and just like punch on down real heavy uh, into a one and a half deviation level. So I was like, hey, or you know, it may go down if it does. It needs to break this point, and if it can punch through there, and we can get some volume in it. Then cool, I'll gladly hop in. But I want to see it punch through first. Not only did it not punch through, but it actually ran up pretty hard to the point seven, and so. Being that it's Friday, um, we may get a lot of movement, but so far I don't see anything happening. I see volume actually dying down, becoming less and less and less um, on these pullbacks. And there's just nothing that says, hey, you should go ahead and look for a big short trade. I, I would probably be more adapt to think that if anything, well, might try to reverse and go back to settlement um, on this trade. Okay? Um, so if we wanted to look at that, then what would be some of those things? Well, one, settlement is a magnet within itself. What other things uh, could add up to a potential settlement? Let's look at, do we have velocity bars? It's like we didn't really have those up at settlement. I want to check and see. But uh, this being the settlement price right here at what, 102 approximately. So, yeah, so no, uh, no velocities at settlement to bring us back there. Now, the only thing really left that we could check out on it would be to look at um, just magnet pricing, classic magnet pricing. So, anyways, uh, we'll look at that a little bit when we get back right after this break. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy. A set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. So I'm back here at the Diagnostic Trading Hour. The good and bad thing about <laughs> commercials, man. Uh, we were ready for another trade there. So props to Joseph for hopping on and uh, taking it by storm during the break there and taking some profits. Uh, we were looking at the magnets, and he has been listening and paying attention and um, taking advantage of it. But I uh, had a magnet 101.80, a magnet 102.01, and it pops up. We talked about how it broke the trend, and I'm like, okay, well, we expect this movement to here. I don't expect it to do much more. I'm sitting back, taking it easy. Goes in, sort of hits in, takes my profit pretty quick. Boom, I'm done. And it uh, starts chilling out. And then all of a sudden, I start seeing this, this breakout happen. It goes up to 0.5. And backs off a little bit, and then volume just starts coming to town. And I'm like, oh, wow. And... You know, 101.80, I'm like, yeah, it's going to hit that, no problem. I was like, next magnet. We're looking at all of them. And Joe's like posting them all for me. There we got up to 101.81. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, it's, what's the next one? We got 102.01. I'm like, oh, it's going to go right to that. And it pops right up to it. It hits settlement. They dump off all their orders. Bunch of take profit happening right now, okay? Bunch of stop losses happening. Bunch of breakout traders hopping in. That's the time you should be getting out. That's the being one step ahead of the markets. Okay, we talked about this last week on oil. And we were looking at, you know, where would the stops be? Where would the take profits be? Well, there'd definitely be 
settlement, there'd be tra breakout traders and everything else. Uh, but let's look at where would the stops be, okay? Let's just check all of this out. We got these traders coming in overnight. Things are all oscillating around. They're starting off early in the morning, okay? And let's see, what do we get up to? Because this will be really curious to see how all this works together. Got up to 102.21, okay. And then now let's let's zoom the chart a little bit down here. And there we go. Okay, so first I'm just going to put a marker right at the high right here. Now let's go back and look at what's going on. Traders come in. I don't want to bring this back till we're not hitting on this line. Okay. So it's, it's bouncing off this, bouncing off this, bouncing off this. Okay, level. It busts through it. It's staying below it. And so we watch and see what happens. It's moving forward. It comes back up. Look what happens right here. Look at this volume. Look at how the vo we have the volume going on. Look at this is 4 a.m. in the morning. It comes back up. These are a lot of people that are excited to get out. Okay, maybe they were long. They were playing a support level. And it just blew right through it. And it came back up. And they're like, oh, thank goodness I'm out of the trade. Okay. Uh, these are also people looking for a potential, you know, breakout up here. And so we keep scrolling forward. We look at the level, see what's going on. Comes back up, nails it again. Obviously, it is a magnet price in a lot of different ways. Um, comes on down and just drops hard. Okay. So now you're the short trader over here. Maybe you went. Maybe a lot of these traders, you know, there's traders that went short right here. There's traders that went short right here. There's traders that went short right here. If that's you and the market's going down, 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 then where are all your stops? You're going to have them all along the way, and that's why it went so fast, because it hit stops here, stops here. This is where it really started picking up steam. It hit all of these stops, all of these stops, all of these stops. We'll talk about it more on the Diagnostic Training Hour later today. We'll see you then. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.